but yeah i just use the regular tempo seasoning my hubby likes to use the spicy one i don't like spicy oh, stuff yeah. so mm -hmm. yeah so that really is minimal sugar in terms of uh right. the amount of flavor that it gives the food other than that i mean you can use and whatever kinds of spices that you like, just make sure you always check the ingredient list. Because similarly to what happened to me, sometimes if it's a blend, you might not realize how much added carbohydrates and sweet stuff it's got. And so if, if your goal is to reverse diabetes or maintain uh, a regular blood sugar levels, then, you know, sugar in, in the form of seasonings can quickly add up throughout the day. The key thing is to make sure the carbs are ultra low or zero, and then zero, pretty much ideally. okay yeah. to use it, right? Then yes, okay. then then you should be fine. There's always the chance um, that you might react to, because remember, those are still plant foods, right? And so um, if you have right. an autoimmune condition, you really want to be careful. And if so, someone yeah. thinks they might be allergic to uh, something, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. then they can do an elimination diet and, and now yeah. narrow it down. Right? Yeah. And again, my hope is always to, to transition everybody eventually to a carnivore diet. You know, even if you feel like you don't have an outward reaction or you don't have multiple sclerosis symptoms or any kind of autoimmune disease symptoms, um, it's best to prevent them from happening. You know, because if you eat those foods, even if it's spices and seasonings and plant foods over 10, 20, 30, 40 years, eventually you will start to develop some autoimmunity. And so we want to prevent that from ever happening. It's, it's not as bad just because it doesn't have as many um, omega-6, which are the most inflammatory kinds of fats, which make up the vast majority of all the other oils on the market. But it may not be real olive oil, right? It may be canola and Yeah, olive. you want to be careful. Like, here's That's the true. The store's brand, pretty cheap, five ninety eight. Right. And here you have, looks like an Italian brand, super premium selection. Well, we don't know, right? We don't know if it's really extra uh, virgin olive oil. You'd we want to check research. the ingredients to make sure that it, it doesn't say a blend, because sometimes they'll say olive oil, but then it's actually a blend where they mix a small amount of olive oil with other things. And every once in a while, we'll hear in the news that some researchers decided to do the good work for us, and they'll go and they'll check, and it'll turn out that even the olive oils don't have um, actual olive oil, so there's a lot of tampering involved. So I right. would make sure that the company is reputable that you're buying from. And I would say the same thing with, with, uh, with avocado oil. That also happened where it was, I think, like, what, 80% of the wow. avocado oils were, were yeah. not really. Compared to other oils, you're good with olive oil, you're good with avocado oil um, and coconut oil. All the other ones that you're showing right now, those are the worst, right? All of those yeah, vegetable yeah. oils, whether it's sunflower, safflower, all of those, you do not want to touch them. Right, no even if it has a heart on it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You do, you do not want to listen to the American Heart Association if you really want to achieve optimal cardiovascular health. They're the last people that are going to get you there. annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.